Today's video is on the Ortofon Moving Coil Quintet series of cartridges. You may not know it, but Ortofon has been in the business of great sound for over 100 years. In 1948, Ortofon released the world's first moving coil phono cartridge, which was designed to reproduce the wider frequency range of recordings being developed after World War II. Since the introduction of that first moving coil cartridge, Ortofon has produced over 100 different moving coil models. And in this age of globalization, it's really great to know that all Ortofon products are still made at their factory in Denmark. If you have made the decision to try an Ortofon phono cartridge, you'll soon see they have a huge variety of models to choose from. As of this video, it totals 55. In this overview, we'll take a look at their most popular series of moving coil cartridges, the Quintet models. So let's get started. Before we start going over the series, you probably need to ask yourself if your system would benefit from a moving coil type cartridge. Most cartridges sold on entry to mid-level turntables are of the moving magnet type. These have a pretty high output and are suitable for the basic phono preamps included in many of today's receivers and integrated amps, as well as most vintage ones. Moving coil cartridges have a lot of advantages, but the one disadvantage of their design is they produce very little output. The phono preamp needs to be much quieter and have far more gain to handle a moving coil. This means you not only need to consider the cost of a moving coil, but also the fact you'll probably need to purchase a separate moving coil phono preamp to even use your new cartridge. However, I have to say, if you enjoy great sound, it's just so worth it. A well-designed moving coil extracts far more information from the record grooves and gets you closer to a live performance. You'll hear subtle dynamic changes, deeper bass, and get this uncanny sense of liveness that only the best cartridges can reproduce. To learn more about cartridges or turntables in general, check out our playlist of all things vinyl here on our YouTube channel, or check out our turntable buying guide on audioadvice.com. There are five Quintet models in the series, and they all share some of the same tech. The Quintet models are all made of an ABS thermoplastic material. This combination is very lightweight, rigid, and anti-resonant. Properly aligning your moving coil cartridge in the tone arm will make a big difference in the performance. If you've ever tried this, you may know having a cartridge with a large and square body makes the job much easier than a body with a smaller non-square profile. Plus, the cantilever on the Quintets is very easy to see, making precise alignment much easier. The ABS material allowed them to make the body large and square without adding any excess weight, as all of the models are on the low weight side as far as moving coil models go, which is about 9 grams. A cartridge maker has a pretty wide range of choices for the magnets used in the cartridge assembly. Many use Alnico magnets, as they are very cost effective. However, some magnets lose their power over time, and you certainly would not want that in your phono cartridge if you paid a decent amount of money for it. Ortofon chooses neodymium for three reasons. They have the highest power to weight ratio of about any magnet out there. They do not lose their magnetism over time, and they are lightweight. The only disadvantage is their cost, but when you're in this range of cartridges, we feel going this way is by far the best choice. All of the Quintet models have a low internal impedance. The advantage this offers is the ability to mate them up with a wide variety of moving coil phono preamps and moving coil step-up transformers. Normally, when you think of a moving coil cartridge, you're looking at a starting price point well north of $500. With the Quintet Red, you can discover the sonic advantages of moving coils and be under $400. This entry-level Quintet model packs in a lot of bang for the buck, just like the 2M Red model does. The Quintet Red has an elliptical stylus mounted on an aluminum cantilever. The internal wiring is copper. With this model, Ortofon tried to give people the best value possible. They also tuned the sound to be compatible with a wide range of systems. The Quintet Red has the warmest sound of all the models, but still gives you that open, effortless character much more expensive moving coils are known for. Next up is the Quintet Blue. The difference in the blue and the red is pretty substantial. You get a nude mounted elliptical stylus with improved internal wiring. When you study a phono cartridge up close, you'll observe a tiny round piece coming out of the cartridge body. This part is called the cantilever. The stylus, which traces the grooves of your record, is mounted to the end of the cantilever. 
On the quintet red, the diamond is mounted to a small metal shank, which is then mounted to the cantilever. With the quintet blue and up, the diamond is mounted directly onto the cantilever. This is called nude mounting. By mounting the stylus directly to the cantilever, tip mass is reduced. The whole assembly can respond faster to tiny changes in the record grooves. Ortofon also moves up to a more pure type of wire for the internal wiring they call Pure 49 Silver. What you will hear from these two tech improvements is very noticeable. The blue tracks better and will bring in more detail in space than the red. It is those small details the blue can reveal that make the music seem more alive. Dynamic contrasts are also better than with the red, but if you want even more dynamics, the Quintet Bronze takes the cake there. When you move up to the Quintet Bronze, you might notice the output level changes on the spec sheet. Ortofon reduced the number of coil winds on the Quintet Bronze in black. This offers improvements in two areas. The cartridge has a more extended top end and picks up even more subtle changes in the record grooves. The wiring in the bronze is pure 49's copper, which Ortofon determined sounded better than silver when used with this upgraded engine in the bronze. The stylus used is also improved to a nude fine line elliptical. This type of stylus profile gets even deeper into the grooves and extracts more information. An interesting benefit of this stylus is the potential for reduced surface noise. If you keep your records clean and in good shape, I find you'll definitely experience a quieter background than the blue or red. Many times when you read between the lines and hear talk of more extension, resolution, and open sound, you might think the product leans towards the shrill or bright side. The Quintet Bronze is just the opposite. It is super smooth yet with a silky extended top end and a huge improvement in resolution over the Quintet Blue. We feel like the Quintet Bronze is one of the best values out there in moving coil cartridge designs. The Quintet Black S is quite different from the Bronze in many respects. The all-important cantilever goes from being made from aluminum to sapphire. The stylus is upgraded to a highly polished Shibata diamond. Finally, the internal wiring is upgraded from copper to Acurum. In our geek due diligence in trying to find out exactly what Acurum was, it turns out it's a term Ortofon invented to describe the wiring. The wiring is technically gold-plated copper, and if you know the periodic table, AU is gold and CU is copper. The fact that you get a high-end material like sapphire for the cantilever on a model the price of the Quintet Black S is pretty incredible. A sapphire cantilever will transfer energy better to the coil assembly than an aluminum type. The biggest deal though is probably the stylus tip. A nude Shibata type is the same type Ortofon uses on their very high-end cadenza series. This kind of stylus has a much wider area of contact with your record grooves than others. Comparing the Quintet Black to the Bronze, you'll hear a faster and more open sound. Dynamic contrasts also improve. On a really good and clean pressing, you'll feel like the music becomes much more alive. You also get the same surface noise improvements as the Quintet Bronze if your records are clean and in good condition. Of course, all things great usually come with a catch. In the case of the Quintet Black, that issue is setup. A Shibata type stylus is more picky about a perfect setup. If you have a good tone arm with the adjustability and skill to really dial it in, you'll love the black. And the good news is, with its large body that is all square, setup is much easier than others. Or if you purchase your turntable from Audio Advice, we mount and align all cartridges in our shop. There is also a Quintet Mono for those of you with a table dedicated to mono recordings. Technically wise, it's a cross between the blue and the bronze with a nude elliptical stylus paired with a bronze type engine with its lighter coil and silver plated copper wiring. The profile of the elliptical stylus is different though and designed to track worn or even damaged records with less surface noise. Another pretty neat feature is the way Ortofon set the mono up internally. They use a strapped output which sends the same output signal to both sets of pins. This means you don't need mono equipment to hear mono sound on a stereo system. It's pretty clear to us if you want a serious mono cartridge, the Quintet Mono is a perfect choice. The MC Quintet series will let you discover the reason audiophiles and music lovers typically prefer the moving coil sound. Each time you step up, you'll get better performance, but you also want to be sure to match things up properly for your system. You'll need to consider your tone arm and in many cases your phono preamp. The red and blue models have pretty decent output for most moving coil phono preamps, but the others will need more gain. 
We are here for you though, and our experts can help you pick the best quintet for your turntable as it really comes down to finding the best match for your system and turntable. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our website, via chat, over the phone, or in one of our award-winning showrooms if you have any questions on finding the right type of order font for your system. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and also check out the playlist section on our channel to easily find all the content you're looking for on anything home audio or home theater related. We'll see you next time.